Hayda. A remote access Trojan, short for RAT, is a kind of malware that controls a system via a remote network connection. It infects the target computer through the special configured communication protocols and enables the attacker to gain the unauthorized remote access to victim machine. RAT is typically installed on a computer without its owner knowledge and often as a Trojan horse or payload. For example, it is usually downloaded invisibly with an email attachment, torrent files, web links or a user desired program like a game. Since a remote access Trojan enables administrative control, it is able to do almost everything on victim's machine. It can get access to confidential information including username, password, social security, number, credit card accounts, monitor web browsers and other computer apps to get search history, email, chat logs, so on. Hijack the system webcam and record videos. Monitor user activity by keystroke logger or spyware. Take screenshot on the target PC. View, copy, download, edit or even delete files. Format the hard drive to wipe data. Change the computer settings. Distribute malware and viruses. Red infections are covered by nature and may make use of randomized file name or file path structure to try to prevent identification of itself. Commonly, a red worm virus does not show up in the list of running programs or tasks and its actions are similar to those of legal programs. Usually won't give themselves away by deleting your files or moving your cursor while you are using the, your computer. Here is how to identify red infection. Let's open command prompt by typing cmd.exe into start menu search box. Right click the command prompt, select run as administrator. Click yes button. Execute following command. After you execute this command, notepad will pop up showing you few details of your system. Take a look at the drive section. If it looks brief as what you see in this video, if there are some other old characters, there may be some remote devices accessing your system via some of the network ports. If you can't decide whether you are using a red virus computer, you need to ask for some external help like relying on antivirus program. Many common security apps are good red virus scanners and red detectors. We can use three utilities from sys internals to find out if your computer is infected with red infection. You will find the download link to these three utilities at the description section of this video. Let's open Process Explorer. Right click proc.exp.exe and click run as administrator. Click yes button. Click agree button. Process Explorer is an advanced process management utility that picks up where task manager leaves off. It will show you detailed information about a process including its icon, command line, full image path, memory statics, user account, security attributes and more. Process Explorer much better than Windows Task Manager, it can help you 
to identify malware infection on your system. You can configure the Process Explorer to detect malware infection. From Option menu, select Verify Image Signatures. If this is checked, then images corresponding to process are checked for trusted signature automatically when you view a process properties. And the result is shown next to the company field in the process property dialog. Verified next to a company name means the file is signed by Trusted Root Certificate Authority and unable to verify means the file is either unsigned or signed by untrusted authority. Select Verify Image Signature. From Option menu, select VirusTotal.com and place a check mark for check virus total com. Click yes button. Again, form option menu. Select virus total com option and place a check mark for submit unknown executables. Form verify signature, make sure to check the process that is not verified by its authority. And form virus total, check for suspicious processes. If you find any, right click it. From the context menu, you can kill the process. You can also search online to get more information about the process. Let's close the Process Explorer and launch the Autoruns utility. Right click Autoruns.exe and click Run as Administrator. Click Yes button. Click Agree button. Autoruns utility will show you which programs are set to run during login or system boot up. You can also configure Autoruns from option menu. You can hide empty locations, hide Microsoft entries, hide Windows entries. Click scan options. And place a check mark for check viruses total com. And submit unknown images. Place a check mark for it. And click rescan. Click yes button. As you can see, virus total F scan executable files from logon tab make sure to disable any startup program that you feel suspicious you can also right click it delete the suspicious startup program check by this total search online to get more information Make sure there is no suspicious services. Delete and disable any suspicious services from this tab. You can use the TCB utility to look for suspicious foreign IP address to find out its registered location. If the location has no connection to you completely, not the location of your friends, company, relative, school, VPN, so on. It probably is a hacker location. Let's open TCB view. Right click TCB view.exe. Select run as administrator. Click yes button. Click agree button. As you can see, TCB view displays list of all running processes that connect to 
to the internet. If you see a suspicious process, you can right click it to close the connection and you can also use who is option find out IP address register location. If you can locate suspicious malicious files or program just clear them out of your computer or at least end their process. Just like protecting yourself from other network malware threats, for remote access Trojan protection, in general you need to avoid downloading unknown items. Keep anti-malware and firewall up to date, change your username and password regularly, block unused port, turn off unused services and monitor outgoing traffic. By doing all this, you should be safe from red cyber attacks. That is it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.